The 11th Third Eye South Asian Film Festival was held in San Francisco from November 6th through the 10th. Films from all over South Asia were screened at the festival. On today's show, we bring you an interview with Pakistani filmmaker Sabiha Sumar. Her latest film, Good Morning Karachi, premiered at Third Eye Film Festival. Sabiha studied at Sarah Lawrence College in the 1980s and went back to Pakistan where she is currently based. She has made a string of films and her latest is Good Morning Karachi. Here is how she describes her film. Good Morning Karachi is very relevant to our times. Uh, it's a story which tells you about the aspirations of young Pakistani women and the way the media industry and the opening up of that industry has afforded them opportunities to be part of uh, you know, the world of performing arts. Um, there is no film school or TV academy in Pakistan and the fact that we had 32 uh, TV channels crop up overnight literally meant that a lot of young women who otherwise would never have been able to work in this industry were out there people needed them and they now run the industry i mean the fantastic thing about pakistan is that it's not an industry that's exploitative of women women are really leading this in this industry so the film really talks about that uh, that time in our lives and here is a clip from good morning karachi so how was your weekend? All I can remember is that I ate quite a bit, just a little too much perhaps. This is Good Morning Karachi. It's a brand new week, or as I say, a new beginning. Kaam karna hai, kaam karna hai, paagal kar diya mujhe. Main kaise is ladki ko akele bahar nikalne do? I cannot stay in that apartment for a minute. Please take me with you. I want to work with you at Radiance. Rafina, we go this way. Girl, come here. Can you try these on? She made it up with me, Jab. To make a sweet, sada si baby ban jao. She was auditioning for you the whole time. Do you have dinner plans? Rafina! Welcome to San Francisco. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. How did you come up with the title Good Morning Karachi? I'm reminded of Good Morning Vietnam. I know, I know. Um, actually, you know, this is based on a, an, on a novella called Rafina. And for the longest time, we held on to that title. But then there came a time when I said, no, the film is actually as much about Karachi City as it is about Rafina, the girl who's you know, uh, the main lead in this film. And uh, for me, it was important to talk about Karachi as a political city, as a violent city, and also a city that is driven by ambition. Um, and Good Morning Karachi seemed to be the title to go with. For those of us who haven't visited Pakistan or know nothing about Karachi except what we come across uh, in the media, how would you describe Karachi? Well, like I said, I mean, you see Karachi in Good Morning uh, Karachi, but um, it is for me a city that affords opportunities. It's a city driven by ambition. It's a city of lights. It's a city of glamour and hope. And yes, at the moment, it's also a violent city, but that's just one part of it. As a filmmaker, what what drives you to stay in that city and continue to tell your stories? No, but as you'll see in Good Morning Karachi, it's not true. I mean, the popular culture is growing. Our music is fantastic. We have music from Zeb and Hania, who are also very popular in India. Um, Zeeshan, Vicky Heather has done the song Ashna, which is a great song. We have great music. We have great uh, dramas. We have now a film industry that is just coming up. So there's a lot of hope and there's a lot going on in that country. I don't see why it's not coming out, but it's, um, yeah, I think there's a lot to be said for Pakistan right now. The common perception that we have of Pakistan and the women in Pakistan is not a very flattering picture. Uh, is that something that played in your mind and maybe that was one of the reasons you wanted to make this film? Um, well, uh, you know, I'm not 
uh, I'm not always aware of what the story might do to audiences abroad. But yes, it's always a consideration that my stories should be relevant to audiences worldwide. And they should speak from the heart. Uh, they should speak to people and have universal values. And I think that it's unique to talk about Pakistan in the way that Good Morning Karachi does. Um, not very much is said about the positive side of Pakistan in the media. So I guess, yes, in a way, uh, maybe subconsciously I was thinking this, I don't know. When we hear out in the West, uh, think of Pakistan and the women in Pakistan, the one person that comes to our mind is Malala. Mm -hmm. Diametrically opposite to the story that you tell in some ways, right? Uh, your story is about the aspiration of a woman who wants to be in the glamour world. And Malala's is a very, very different story. So what can you tell us? Well, Malala is also a story of our times. Uh, so, you know, a country like Pakistan is full of contradictions and conflicts. And I'm glad that we don't hide our conflicts and contradictions. We're out in the open with Malala and with Good Morning Karachi and a lot, lot more. So um, I think every country has that. I mean, the US, India, um, Europe, you know, you'll hear of stories that don't sound like they belong to that country, but they do. I think it's very hard to see a country like a person, black or white, one way or the other. It's really a mix. And it's with that mix that we should embrace the country and see it go places. And uh, Malala is somebody who makes us very proud and so does Rafina in Good Morning Karachi. What is next for you? I'm working on a sequel to Dinner with the President, A Nation's Journey. I'm also working on Dawat Nama, a, a feature film script, and Azmaish, another feature film script. So there's a lot going on, and I hope that the next years will be very productive. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.